Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and tonight we're not going to have our card class tonight because I wanted to share with you a few of the swaps um, that I have been um, receiving from swaps that I participated and I wanted to share with you because they are featuring new products, especially now that we have the new catalog live and that I can show it to you. I want to take a few minutes just to show you how amazing the new catalog um, I know the um, setup is a little bit different, so I definitely wanted to share with you a few a few things from it um, that I am excited about, right? Um, it does take a little bit of adjusting because I know we are already um, used to certain things, and definitely this catalog is a little bit different than that. However, I feel like you're going to love it even more because it offers you so many other things. I am particularly excited that it has, um, it helps you uh, how to design cards because they have like um, uh, sketches, there's a coloring section, there is phone folds. So I definitely think you're going to love it as well. Um, but anyway, just wanted to go a little bit over that. So before you jump in or before more of you jump in, um, make sure you let me know where you're watching from. I'm slightly late. <laughs> I just came back from the trip and I've been just running around and that was the other reason I haven't been able to finish, you know, uh, designing for classes and whatnot. And so I think that I'm going to be able to catch up by the next, by this weekend. But um, but for tomorrow, um, by the way, I'm going to be coming back tomorrow with our regular card class. But tomorrow I'm thinking about using the, I think it's Thoughtful Designs, um, which is kind of like that designer series paper that looks like the Mandarin Meadows type of card, types of designer series paper. So I think you're going to love it. Um, but again, tonight I really just wanted to show you swaps, the new catalog, and then... Um, if you will, talk a little bit about Cart Club because today is the last day to sign up for Cart Club if you want the May kit. And of course, it features uh, two of the bundles that are in um, the new catalog. So anyway, so let's get it started. Let me see who are, who are there. Let me also make sure I go into the other phone so that I can see comments because that, that part is always a little bit. Uh, here we go. So, um, oh, Marianne, yes. Um, so, like I said, yes, we had a really good time in Cancun. Um, I just came back from the Mexico incentive trip, and it was just amazing. I was excited to go, to be honest. However, uh, as you know, I am from Mexico, so I was like, it's Mexico, right? Like, <laughs> however, let me tell you, it was amazing. I, yeah, the resort was amazing. There were different parks that we could go to. So I did not expect to be as excited as I was right when I was there. Just because, again, I've been in Mexico. <laughs> I've been in Cancun. And so I was like, mm, it's going to be okay. But that's the extent of it. No, it was amazing. Um, we were able to swim with the dolphins. We were able to be with the stingrays. We... Um, I say we, but actually my husband and Oliver went to the um, snorkeling to see more fishes and corals and reefs and whatnot. And so that was pretty cool. And um, we just had a good time. We really did had a good time. The resort was amazing. And so definitely a great place to, to go back. <laughs> oh, Florence, yes. Um, Oliver had a blast. I think that he was the most excited about the whole experience because he loves all animals he's into sea animals and he was just excited to be able to be with a dolphin be able to pet him um also the stingrays was a little bit scary for him because he is the one who's always telling me there's two types of rays i guess one that has the sting and ones that doesn't have it the one that doesn't have it is huge and then the stingrays are the ones that can't you know sting you so he didn't thought we were going to be with the sting race. And so when he found out it was a sting race, he was like, hold on, <laughs> what are we doing here? But then he got very excited about it again. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so definitely he was the most excited about the whole thing. Um, we went to Islas Mujeres and Oliver wanted to see, again, he's the one who wants to see all the wild sea life, if you will, right? And, um, and so there was an option for a snorkeling. Well, I'm the one that knows how to swim. My husband really doesn't really know how to swim. Although he can, you know, he can go by. 
And Oliver, definitely, he has never had any swimming classes. However, he was the one who jumped out of the boat, ready to go. <laughs> and I went there thinking, okay, I'm going to be the one. Well, they put you a bis or whatever they put you here, but it has covering with your nose. I've never used any of that, and I thought I was not breathing, which crazy, but I started getting all nervous. I was like, no, no, this is not going to work for me. I started getting a little bit panicky because I'm not breathing. And uh, also, I couldn't use my glasses, and I don't see without my glasses. And the guy was like, you follow me. He's like, I don't even see you. So I was like, no, this is not going to work. So I went back to the boat. And then my husband had the oh moment <laughs> that, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So he's the one who has to continue through the swimming on the sea or in the sea because Oliver is there. And my husband, again, he's not <laughs> really the one that knows how to swim. So he drank so much seawater. <laughs> he was like... He literally, he just told me, oh, I guess I love these, these little kids so much because holy cow, I don't know how to swim. And I had to be there for 30 minutes out in the sea and drinking all this salty water and all nervous about him, but he made it back. So anyway, they made it back, but it was just scary at the time, but now we're just laughing about it. <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh. But, but yeah, cause my husband pretty much went in this is his confession he said like i went in thinking oliver is gonna back out and then i'll be like oh yeah sure let's go back well he never came back <laughs> he was he never he was like oh no we're going and mundo was like i guess we're going and he thought everything was okay because i'm the one that swims so he was like oh yeah well ali is going well ali chickened out and went back to the boat so he was like oh my gosh i'm really stuck in this thing so anyway it was just funny but <laughs> It was just no. <laughs> it was just uh, it was like I said. Now it's funny, but at the time we would we were both scared. <laughs> so anyway, he uh, Oliver had no fear. I mean, he had no fear at all. He was never panicking, nervous, anything. He was just like a little fish swimming. Even though he doesn't know how to swim, he pretty much learned it <laughs> right there on the trip. So um, but anyway, it was it was kind of a. I don't know, different experience for us. <laughs> uh, Ron says, I'm with you. I don't like those. I know, I never used those Macs. So this was the first time I've ever used it. And to me, I, like I was having a panic attack because I'm like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta get out. <laughs> so anyway, um, but so yeah, it was really good. We really enjoy it. Um, I went with, of course, with my full family. So from that end, I felt like this was more a family trip for me than really the Stamping Up trip. <laughs> it was amazing. But I, I feel like I didn't spend as much time with other demonstrators just because my family was there. I really wanted to take the opportunity to enjoy the time with them. And, um, it, you know, I just wanted to make sure be present with them rather than just going out with all of them. All of the other people right and it was a little bit different like when we were on a cruise in norway like we were seeing every single demonstrator at all times this time i hardly ever see anyone <laughs> to be honest which is weird because we were all there but we didn't see other than general session i don't really see them much um i did meet a few demonstrators like rolanda was there she was pretty much um a new demonstrator that i met and she was amazing um as we were getting into the resort and then out of the resort, those were the only times that I saw her. And then for swaps, so you know how I'm always running crazy, so I didn't finish my swaps. And so I was making my swaps on the beach. I'm not kidding. And, um, and Jill Nolan came to me and said, oh, can I help you? So I met her there and she was helping me. She's lovely lady and very helpful and she had so much patience with my kiddos because of course the minute they saw her uh helping me now they want to help as well and i'm like oh my gosh don't do this don't do that because oliver is very into let's just do and he's not really thinking he just wants to do addison is a little bit more careful with those things and so jill was like oh my goodness i think i'm making things worse i'm like no no that's okay but uh but she was she was super patient with my kiddos because they were helping her helping me so <laughs> she was amazing from that end so, uh, but yeah, we didn't, um, I didn't really spend too much time with other demonstrators, which, yeah, that was very sweet of, of Jill. So that was the whole thing there. Um, other than that, like I said, I don't really see many people. Every now and then I might see someone for like a little bit. Like when we were having um, dinner or something, you might see someone. 
but again, it was a little bit different. So this time it felt very different as a trip. Um, although we did have a blast, we did enjoy it and it was just amazing. So anyway, but thank you, thank you for asking about it. Um, all right, Ron said, it takes a while to, to get used to that mask. I guess so, I just couldn't, I just, I just couldn't. <laughs> so anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and start talking about what we have. So first of all, like I said, today is the last day to sign up for the card club. So if you wanna get the card club uh, for May, it is featuring the Unbounded Beauty Suite, which now I can show you in the catalog. Um, and um, so let me just go real quick. I know it's somewhere here. Oh, here we go. So it is a beautiful suite. It does come with two, like, Hillary's. It comes with, oh, I should be doing this differently. But anyway, it comes with, um, the suite has two different bundles and you can see one has flowers and one has the sentiments and the dyes. I know I showed them on my last video, uh, the dyes, and the dyes are just amazing uh, because they have different labels, right? So you can see some of them fit perfectly the sentiments, but you can use them anytime, right? For any of your cars. And if you like um, following the sketches, like I usually show you, how to use them, uh, you want labels, really. You want labels because then you can modify any car and use them all the time. So these are the uh, bundles that you might wanna have. Um, like I said, the flowers and sentiments, and then the uh, frames, right? And it comes, like now, the, the suite also has the, uh, what is this, the Glimmer paper, which comes in all of the in-color uh, colors. Then there's also the resin dots and then also the designer series paper. Now, the modification I had to do is that these uh, these dots are currently now um, not available until probably mid-May. So I'm assuming next week they're going to come available. However, I went ahead and got the shimmer dots, uh, which are also in the ink color. So it's going to be the same colors. I feel like those are... Um, but look, I don't want to say they're nicer, but they are really nice. <laughs> so let me show you those. So these are the ones. So I decided to change the resin dots, and I think I have them here too. Hold on. Uh, where are the resin dots? Here. So the resin dots look like so. And um, here are the shimmer gems. So for Car Club, I decided to change for those. Uh, you're going to see that my samples, though, have the resin dots, but again, you will be able to pretty much use them or do the cards, but not with this one. So I did make that change um, just because, again, I wanted to make sure <clears throat> we have the dots, especially because these are coming at mid month. And I didn't know if they were gonna be on time for me to mail on the 20th. And then these were also getting low inventory. So I was like, I need some in color dots for this class. So that's where I was like, we're going to be making the change and I'm getting them right now just to make sure I have everyone in the cloth cover. Um, but anyway, but like today, like I said, is the last day. And here are the cards uh, for card club. So these are the ones all are, these are, this is like my, one of my favorites. Although I do like this one as well. I like how uh, the colors come, even though I'm not too much into the peach color. I love how this combination turn out. Um, then we have that one, and then we have this one, which I love this sketch. Now, this sketch is one of the ones from that we got from Stamping Up back when we did our own stage, and I am in love with it. You know, like, I feel like this is one of those sketches that I'll be using a lot um, in my cards. So anyway, so Card Club, you, if you want to sign up, you need to go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. It is $45 and you get, this particular one, will get um, some of the Glimmer paper. I think you're getting a quarter of the sheets. You're gonna get the dots, which now are the shimmer gems rather than the, these dots. You're gonna be getting half of a pack. Um, you're also gonna be getting uh, twine and then everything ready to make the, the five cards, right? So that's what is included in the card club. Um, what else I was going to be saying? Oh, and you can see the Glimmer paper. I mean, you're going to be using them for your cards. Like I've used, um, I love the peach one to be, like I said, the peach was like a surprise because that was like my least favorite color. 
I like it, but when you have petunia pulp, come on, like I'm a purple person, so <laughs> definitely that's my favorite. However, the peach, uh, the peach pie glimmer paper, oh my goodness, for those little um, embellishments, if you will, for this section, they just make the cars pop so beautiful. So uh, I actually pretty much use all one sheet already of that particular color, which I was like, oh my goodness. I thought I was gonna be using a lot of the petunia and I end up, no, using the peach pie, which, I mean, nothing wrong with it, but I was just surprised because I'm a purple person. Um, so anyway, so like I said, if you want to get on that class, uh, on, on that club, sorry, it's $45. Go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. You can read everything about it. You can subscribe. Uh, once you subscribe, make sure you go back to the same page. Again, creatingwithali.com forward slash card club and fill out the Google form because that's where you're telling me where to ship that uh, kit. Now, once you're in, you are subscribed and every month you're going to be charged the same amount, the $45 per month, and every month I will be sending a different kit. And you're going to be, um, you can, you can, cancel at any time. There's no hustle or anything. You just either go to PayPal and cancel yourself, or you can always email me and I'll cancel for you. Um, so that's the deal with the card club. Um, that's pretty much about all the classics except for paper parties, uh, the paper party share. So we are going to be using the country flowers, which I should have somewhere here. Um, I don't know what I did with it. The country flower here. Oh, yes. So we're going to be using the Country Flowers. Yes, this one for paper share and the Wildflowers design. Now, the cool thing, I mean, the set is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But the dyes, oh my goodness, the dyes are just amazing. So the dyes from the uh, Wildflowers or Wildflower designs has these cute little, um, what do you call, labels. And you know me, I love labels. So definitely I was like, we need to be using this one. Um, so the set is beautiful, but the dyes, oh my goodness. I know that I'll be using these dyes so much. Now I am working still on the design because we, we're we working on it. So let me just give you a sneak peek of two of the cards. So you can see here how they look. See the, the dyes are just amazing. And here is another one right there. So, um, I'm still working on my samples. Jennifer is working on her samples. This is the one where I partnered with Jennifer. So we're both literally, I mean, we just came back from the trip, right? So we both are just now designing. And we. I hope, at least I hope to finish this week designing for, car, uh, for the paper share. And what it is on paper share is you get a sampling of every single new paper pack from the new catalog as well as uh, two and a half jars of all the new ribbon. And you also get a, a make and take kit. I, I mean, that's if you want the party, but why would you not want to get the party? It's uh, you get 12 cards um, or a make and take for 12 cards. And each of the cards uh, is with one of the different designer series paper. So you're gonna be using part of the designer series paper to complete your cards. And you're gonna be making one card with each of the different packs. So, I think it's a great deal. Um, the cool thing is that you're going to see that we kind of use like layout. So you can use the same layout with all the other ones and you can repeat all of your cards with any of the other papers that you have, right? Because you're going to be getting every single one from the uh, catalog. Now, I've did, I have been getting questions as far as like, what are the measurements, right? Like how big is the paper? So when it is a 12 by 12 paper, you're going to be getting a half of it, which is 12 by 6 or a 6 by 12 uh, sheets. And if the paper comes as a 6 by 6, then you're going to be getting a 6 by 6, right? The, there's nothing else. We're not going to be cutting it anymore. But um, that's how that works for paper share. And again, you get every single uh, color, not color, but paper from the new catalog as well as the specialty. I should say that. So you will also get the shimmer paper. The I think there's one that looks like wood but in white like it has, it's like embossed in like wood like the timber kind of but in 12 by 12 you're going to be getting that you're going to be getting the metallic uh the new metallics which are amazing as well um they're going to be getting silver because that's a new one for us now um what else do we have on that end so anyway so there's different paper and like i said 12 different papers um from that so 
check it out i think the last day to sign up is coming up i think i don't remember if it's next week i think it's next week i think it's a 13 is the last day and we're gonna be mailing pretty much here shortly so like i said we both need to be finishing designing like right away <laughs> so anyway um but very excited with that class and uh, like i said it will include um all the papers from here and then the last thing i want to talk before i go through the the things from the catalog is that we have an amazing promotion going on around the starter kit so if you've already got your copy right of this catalog and already made your wish list right there's so many nice products here new products coming up but if you already have a wish list then select 125 dollars of those well, items whatever you want and only pay $99 um, plus tax. There's no shipping. So that's the starter kit. However, during May, you've also get, apart from that, you're also going to be getting um, for free all the new ink color inks. So you're going to be getting these for free. You're also going to be getting the designer series paper of the ink colors, which they're really nice. I love the new designs that we have. Um, every year we have like new designs. These ones turn out to be really nice. I really like them. So let me just show you real quick. I think I show last week as well, but let's just go through it real quick. Um, okay, so, so these are the pretty and pink. So you get this design and then of course there's like lines and then you have this one and then you have uh, like little circles so you get a full paper pack with all of those um, and it comes with all the ink colors and then you also get the car stock of the ink colors so let me let me put all the paper so you get this one you get the um the car stock what is this called i think it's the ink color car stock but it comes with all the colors so you get I think you get about four sheets of each of the different colors. So you get like 20 sheets of paper. Yeah, 20 sheets. So four or five different colors. Okay, so you get four of those. And then you also get um, the markers, the water, the bright, I think, yeah, stamping bright markers. Um, so it is a great deal. That's in addition of the $125 worth of products. So I think um, it is a great deal. It is, I think overall from this part, just from this product. So all of these, right? Oh, I should probably show it this way. <laughs> so from all of that, um, it is $82 value for you on top of $125 that you select. So you select the other $125. Um, and then you become part of my team, which I would love to have you in my team. Um, please know you don't have to be uh, making classes or anything like that you can just be a, sh a happy shopper right that's that's how we all started at some point at least that's how i started for like 10 years i was a happy shopper and that was the extent of it um and then later on i decided to do the business i so said you don't have to be doing anything related to classes or anything like that of course the choice is always there for you um but you get 20 percent on your um future orders so if you have a long wish list you select the first 125 under the starter kit and then get the rest at a 20% discount. So I think it's a good deal. Now, like I said, once you are in my team in particular, you'll get all uh, my tutorials. So I do offer all for free all my tutorials for all my classes. And, um, and we also have like team gatherings every month. We do monthly swaps where uh, the team members send their cars uh we are also part of a bigger um group or a bigger community from my upline and on that group we now we also have um creative challenges right so it is a really cool to be in our groups because you're going to be in two groups my group and then my uplines group um so definitely if you have any questions let me know i think it's a great deal and especially now right that we have the new colors if you want to be getting all your colors right away definitely this is the way to do it um and then i am going to be releasing i know i'm a little bit late i had some issues with the paypal button but i'm going to have also the in color uh club so if you're interested in that i still have that option however to be very honest i feel like the starter kit it's a way better deal because you get 
a lot of the products from the in color club for free so definitely consider that so if you have any questions let me know i'll be more than happy to help you so now let me now flip the camera so that we can go through the catalog and then we can uh, i can show you the swaps because oh my goodness i have so many beautiful swaps here so give me a second and let me also move my share oh uh, what is this thing is this working or not working nope it's not working there we go. I'm like, is this working or not working? <laughs> Let me move my chair. Give me one second. Um, it sounds always weird, but anyway. <clears throat> All right, so let me move the ink colors. All right, so, so let's go to the new catalog. So here is the new catalog. And uh, let me see if there's any questions. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. Hi, Janine. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Hilda. Hi, Sandy. Um, oh, Linda says that she's from Idaho. <laughs> Good evening. And she's saving for, for later. That's perfect. Oh, you love the new color. I love it, too. It's really cool. Uh, Florence says she loves the shimmer dots more than the resin ones. They're really nice. They're both really nice. Hi, Eleanor. <clears throat> um, all right. So I think that's what we have. So anyway, so the new catalog... Let me just go through that. It has the first section of it. It's more for like new crafters. So if you're brand new making cards. Um, oh, hi, Shayla. Yay. <laughs> and I'll be sending you. I was uh, I was going to the trip, so I didn't email you. But I'll be emailing you fairly shortly here to give you all the information about that group where we get all the uh, tutorials. So very excited to have you, Shayla. Very excited. <laughs> All right, so like I said, if you're new into um, crafting or making cards, you want to pay attention to the first um, section uh, of the catalog. It talks about the kits. You have a link here to go to the kits because every month we have two new kits being um, released. So definitely check it out. These are only online, so you're not going to see them on the catalog. You see pictures here, but as you see, there's no prices, no item numbers, no nothing. You have to go online to uh, see the new ones and then get them there. And like I said, like already in May, we have two new sets. One has like a New York vibe, you know, and the other one has flowers and it makes cards too. So definitely really, really nice um, as well. We also have Paper and pump paper Pumpkin, which is our monthly subscription uh, directly through Stampin' Up. And every month they'll send you a box filled with goodies to make, uh, most of the times it's cards, but uh, sometimes we also get 3D items or home decor uh, on this one so this is also like a monthly subscription that you can get um as well uh if you want more information on paper pumpkin let me know and i'll send you the link um i know i almost never promote it but i probably should because it's, it's a really good one and their kits comes really nice um usually i want to say that every month we have a small um stamp set and an ink color sorry not an ink color a little uh stamping spot with ink it comes pretty much with everything to be honest on the paper pumpkin it's kind of like the kits it comes even with adhesive that you're going to be needing embellishments everything to make your car so this is very uh, practical and again if you are new um these type of kits are going to be the best way to go now then we have the quick and easy options which are the ones if you are just again starting um we have uh the top 10 this is kind of like a cool thing because we usually and i'm kind of at fault too i usually make the assumption that you all know what you need <laughs> And uh, as you're placing your orders, then you realize that you don't have everything you need, right? Like adhesive or envelopes or cardstock or um, anyway, your supplies, right? So this one, it's a, a great pace just to go and see what you need uh, for making cards. And then we have now this section that says... Uh, cards and envelopes, right? The mix and match. And we have ephemera packs. Now, I do have one for you to show here. So this is that one. There's two options. One has more of a brighter colors and the other one has a little more, I don't want to say subtle, but more like neutrals. So this is that one. It comes with five cards and you can see they are white inside. And um, this is how they look. And then they have the coordinating five envelopes, as you can see. 
So they have the envelopes. It has a little bit of a softer look on the outside and then the same kind of look on the inside. So really nice decorated um, envelopes. And, and then for the ephemera packs, like I just literally got those. These ones, um, I only have two. One that has the words, which I think is this one. Let me just check. Yeah, saying something, so it's that one. And then I think I grabbed the one with the fully flowering, which is, yeah, fully flowering. So let me just show you these. These are like die cuts. Mm, let me see. These are die cuts. It's not a stickers, it's die cuts. So you're going to be using your dimensionals or glue dots or other sort of adhesive. Um, and let me just pull them out. Let's just pull them out. But, but so you're going to be getting out, see, and you get two of each, I think. Yeah, two of each. And you can be making your cards out of this. So you get a lot of it, right? Like you really get a lot of, see how beautiful. I love flowers, so I definitely wanted to go with that. And then there's a few of them that you can actually color yourself with either the blends or maybe, um, you know, your watercolor pencils as well. So you can do that as well. Okay, so that's that. And then this one is more for like sentiments. Um, and then there's this one, the labels and layers. That one is, like it says, for labels, which I don't know why I didn't get it because I should, probably should have um, just to make layouts and why not. Uh, in my case, I could die cut them. But if you're brand, brand new, right, you might not have all the dies and whatnot. So you can see this one is with sentiments. It already has some color sentiments. Um, all of it, too. You can see them here, um, like fancy words, if you will, right, like the fund. And again, you get two of each, right? Uh, same thing with this ones, like another sort of fancy words. Um, beautiful, thanks for you, friend. Love you, happy, hello, hey, uh, ahoy, howdy. Uh, what does it say? It's good luck, hip hip hooray. Congrats, oh hey, wishes, birthday, today. So definitely kind of cool. And then you have this one that kind of have like layout, you know, where you're cutting out the sentiment, you know, to make it a little bit more, um, I don't know, just to have that feel, right? Like we, when you stamp and then cut it out, well, you have it already done here for you. Um, or some with like a little label. So like I said, these are really good to have. And especially they'll help you make cards in uh you know, in a blitz, like super, super quick, super easy. I'm going to put them there. I don't want to be messing up right now with this. Uh, but these are those. So these, each of these packs are $8. And there's also this um, stamp set that is called the Simply Set. And this is just mainly for sentiment. So if you don't get this one, right, uh, you can get the sentiments and then finish your cards with just sentiments. So you can use one of the images, maybe one of the labels, and they have that. By that, you only need gems, ribbon, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so it gets very fairly easy. Let me just put this ephemera pack somewhere there so I'm not losing it. So anyway, so I wanted to make sure to point that out. Because like I said, this is a very high sandy. This is a very easy way to make your cards. And here are some of the samples, as you can see. See? So you just put some of the images and the sentiments, some of the labels. So very easy without... Too much you know like it just goes really fast and here is the stamp set again so you can see it you just might need an ink pad like in this case they are suggesting the um memento ink and you can just add a little bit to your car but um so very easy to play with this i would uh of course me i would probably add some gems and a bow or something like that right and then here is my favorite part this is the part where we have the sketches so as i mentioned I think I said that right when we saw the catalog, but this was the section that got me the most excited. I know they're really tiny. <laughs> you can see them here, but you get the idea. And I love that it's exactly the same way as I always show them uh, on my PDF, right? Like I, let me show you here. Cause it's the same concept. Like I have them this way, right? And you can see there's no measurements. It's just the picture. It's just the idea. So this is exactly the same concept. And um, and you have them right there. And then you can be changing the forms, the sizes, to whatever you have. So I think this is going to be a great tool, especially if you're starting, right? And making your own selections, you know, your own cards. Um, throughout the publication, you're going to see 
you can see the sketch picture like this little one with the cards and i should have i should have marked one so that you can see it but you can see like there's some that can have like the color wheel which i'll show you here in a minute um but same as these it should have uh, the ones that are uh following a sketch have a sketch uh have the little sketch and i should be i'll try to remember to look for it but yeah like this one here it is i'm like wait a minute like you can see it here so it can tell you like what is case they are following um throughout the book so it's also kind of nice to see all the samples on the catalog to see what they did because you're gonna find out a lot uh how they modify it so i guess that's the part that i'm like i said that's the part that i'm very excited about you have the same here you can see that um you have this one and you can see the sketch that they use again for you to see how they're using it um so throughout the book you're gonna get a lot of that and then finally you have also the memories are more uh, which is an also another really quick and easy way for you to do your uh, scrapbooks um and then we have this one that has some die cuts and then the paper so it's a little bit of a step up if you will so now let me now go so that's as far as that let me now show you uh, some samples and I put some markers for the ones that I have so this is the take to the sky let me show you the samples oh here because um, I wanted to show them see uh, so we got this one let me see this is from Michelle suit Look how beautiful her car is. She did do the stamping. Now, this one uh, has... Ooh, and I forgot the one from... I know Betsy did one, and it's on my... It's on my desk. Oh, my goodness. I had it on my in my house. Hold on. Let me see. Do I have it here? Oh, no. It's here. Let me show you also, because I have the one from Betsy. Um, So, I'll show you this one as well. But anyway, so this one... um. Like I said, look at the colors. She has a little bit of the, uh, what is this, Blink, the Wink of Estella as well here. And the sentiment is raised. Really nice. Um, what I would suggest on this set is that you can see the plane. It's really these two. This one in particular, this image, when you die cut it, use the adhesive sheets. Because I think this will be easier for you to use as a sticker. Um, and then you just line it up with like the wheels here in this section right and everything else goes really smooth um i don't know how you call these things but you can also add them right here as well if you want like they did here okay so now this is the one from betsy so like i mentioned on my teams uh, on my team we have a monthly swap and this is actually the cart that won the swap this month and she is getting $20 in whatever she wants from Stampin' Up from me, like on Stampin' Up products from me um, as the winner of our swap. <laughs> so we can't, we have fun with it. But look how beautiful her car is. And it's one of those that kind of stand up this way and then it closes this way. So a really beautiful car as well. See that? And you can see how this one goes. Like I am in love with this car it was a really good car propeller oh thank you thank you Rhonda. like i said i'm always learning new words <laughs> um let's see yeah so anyway so ha we have that now let's just see this one this car was a really super super cute car now this one came from stamping crafted by you there's no name other than her business name I wish they also put her name so I knew who it is. But you can see this one. And then look how cute this is. It has a little, like, a scissor thing that you can put. It has the logo from the Mexico trip. And then it has this one. And it goes this way. So, super cute card. <laughs> I was very excited to get this one. I thought this was a very, very nice card as well. And again, this one is from Stamping Created by You okay um i don't know the name there's no name <laughs> um all right so that's from it and this came from the uh incentive trip and then we have that one as well like this one with silver it looks really nice <clears throat> this one is from judy turtle total sorry not turtle uh judy to total 
and look how beautiful it is. It's a little bit simpler um, with the stamping in the background and just a smaller piece of the sanitizer's paper, but it still looks amazing with just the die cuts, right? Really nice. Um, sorry about that. Um, this one is from Julie Beltramo. <clears throat> and look how cool this is. This is one of those uh, phone folds, right? And it goes this way. So really beautiful car as well. This one has the propeller. And again, the two-tone um, plane. Which, like I said, this section, I think, is the one that will be great if you use um, the adhesive sheets. Okay? I think that, that will be really good to, to do. So let me put it back. I don't want to be listening because I know I'll be forgetting who did what. <clears throat> but look how beautiful. So this one <clears throat> makes very masculine cards, as you can see, right? Although you can pretty much make this ones as well on other colors, right? Do not make it as masculine. Now, the designer series paper, though, you can see it has the blues, the greens, uh, pecan pie, and then the grays. So really, really nice uh, color combination from that end. <clears throat> Let me go to the next. Let's see what else. Do we have this one so this one i got a few cards really i think that the thing that everyone loves so much is the designer series paper it's one of those that has like watercolor looks and the dyes are really good you're gonna see them um but also um you can see the paper is just amazing and give me a second here oh yeah there we go um <clears throat> you can see here like the the dies are really cool for that one, okay? I'll put it back there. But you can see here, uh, we have this one from Susan Canfield. Very simple because the designer series paper really makes all the work. You can see how beautiful the designer series paper. And then she just added a strip of the um, embossing section. And this one is the distress embossing folder and then a sentiment, a gem, and then you're done. So this is really like you can see all of them kind of are simple but they look really nice i love this look a lot with the uh when you rip the paper it looks really nice this one does have that um the oh the die cut let me just show you here is this die cuts right so she just have half of a die cut right here um and then she did a little bit of the stamping here using this one Okay, now this one is the Thoughtful Journey Suite collection and the stamp set or the bundle is the Thoughtful Wishes. By the way, um, the bundles right now, right, uh, when they're just are new to a publication, they actually have a 10% discount when you get them together. Um, eventually, once they move to the new, to the, another publication, they, if they are not retired, then you will have to buy it separately. So they would not longer have the 10% discount. So definitely take advantage of bundles because you end up saving 10% on those. You have this one as well. Look at that. Um, I love... Uh, the design is just paper. There is a layout here, as you can see, right? We have the three strips underneath and bows. We have the bow, the pearls. Look at the pearls. The pearls are from here. Uh, so you can see it right here. Really, really nice. Uh, then we have this one as well. Again, the paper is just amazing. This one, of course, uses the Petunia Pop, so that becomes kind of like my favorite from this set just because I love how it looks. But you can get, you can see all of them are very similar in the simplicity, right? Because they are featuring that Sanitius paper. So if you're needed to do a ton of cards, this is the way to go, pretty much. And then look at that one as well. Now, this one uses, um, this is from a different bundle from the Unbounded, uh, I think it's the Flowers in Beauty. Uh, from the Unbounded Beauty Suite, as well as the Sentiment. But the Designer Series paper is from this collection. So, let me now go to the next one. Um, we have now the Country Woods, which is the one that has a little uh, birdhouse, and the Country Flowers, which is the one that we're using for our uh, paper share. I love the sentiments on this one a lot, especially the font. You can see it kind of mixes and matches right um so i definitely love it hi Lori. and so let me show you the cards from this one i didn't get 
Oh no, I did get, I did get, but I didn't get as many with the Burt house. So you can see here. Oh, thank you, Lori. You can see um, this one. It uses the distress. I think this is the oxidized paper, actually. Um, but you can see how beautiful the font looks, right? Then you have this one. This one looks super, super cute. Oh, I didn't say who who this one. This is from Rosemary Col Coleman in Canada. Oh, I love her videos. I've seen her on the videos. Um, this one is from Marianne Grimmer from North Carolina. You can see here. Hi, Holly. Um, I love this one. I definitely love the designer series paper. This is from the Woods. Uh, this is Country. I think it's Country Lane Woods. Let me see. What is the paper? Because this, this suite. Let me just put it back. So this suite has two bundles too. And then it has two different designer series paper. This one that has the wood grain um, designs. And then this one has more like a lace type of design. So one is called... Uh, what is this? Number eight. Number eight here is called Country Woods. So it's this one. And then this one is Country Lace. Okay. So this, this designer series paper is from the Country Wood. And look how beautiful it looks. <clears throat> this one, you can see, is the Country Lane. Country Lace. And look how beautiful. And this one uses the Country um, Flowers on that one and I just love it I love it. now this one is from the dies so this one has dies and you can see them here you can cut out the different bases uh, for the cards and then there's also a standalone leaves or foliage and then standalone flowers what I love about this one is that you have multiple flowers so when you're die cutting you can die cut so many of these little flowers at once, which that's kind of a, a good deal to have, <laughs> especially if you like to be adding flowers to your cards, okay? Or if you're, when you're making multiples, same thing. Um, you can see this one. Now, this one has a new embossing folder, which is called, what is this one? Number six is called the eyelet embossing, and look how beautiful it is. This is the same that we use on our uh, last card class. Right from the one where I was showing the in color. This is the same that we used. And you can see it here. It is the same. It looks really, really nice. And look how beautiful. So this is again using the country flowers. <clears throat> oh, I love it. And the color combination goes really nice. Now, the this ribbon has been very popular and has already... Um, it's already um, like on back order, if you will. So it's going to come back. <clears throat> I believe when I saw it, it was like May to the end of May. So it's coming back. But right now, it's not orderable at the time of this video. Um, you can always check back on our store at stampingup.com and, uh, and see if it's back there. But it should be there like around mid to end of May when I saw it. Um, then you have this one as well. And did I say who this one's where from? I always forget. I'm so sorry. This one is from Angie Leash. Beautiful card. And this one is from... Well, I don't know. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me check if there's a name. Uh, Darla Watson. Okay, I'm going to put it this way so I can read this thing. This is from Darla Watson. Beautiful card. And this one is from Julie Salva. Oh, there you go. Beautiful car as well. Oh, I have something right on this one. I have to take that out. I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. There we go. So this is from Julie Salve. Oh, Julie is so, it's always so sweet. I really like her a lot. So here is that one. And then this one is from the Creativity Cape. Oh, that's um Dina Rico. I'm like, hold on. I've seen this. Yeah, Dina Rico. Look at that. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. And lots of coloring, I should say. Lots of coloring here. So here you have it. And I love that she added the little bling on the center of the flowers. Beautiful card. So these are the these are that ones from this suite. <clears throat> um let me see. What else do we have? Uh oh here. Of course. Now, this is the suite where I got the most of the swaps, I should say. <laughs> uh, let me just show you here. <clears throat> so this is the Unbounded Beauty, and which is the one that we're using for Cart Club. So it's exactly the same. 
Um, similar thing, you have two bundles, like I mentioned at the beginning. Um, the designer series paper features that new ink colors, and then there is, a, um, what is this again? The glimmer paper in the, in the ink color colors. <clears throat> so anyway, so the, here is... Here is this one, and it's just a designer shoes paper because, again, the dye is from the, what is this called? From the um, Thoughtful Designs. Um, you have this one. Look how beautiful this looks. I love, like I said, I feel like the pecan, not the pecan, but the peach pie. Um, it's very bright. Like, it looks really cheerful in these cards. So I really like it. And the color combination with the Petunia Pop goes really well. So here is that one. Now, I didn't say who is this one. This is from Andre Catudal. Okay, Andre Catudal. And then we have this one. Uh, look at that embossing folder. Really nice. And see how the dice, right? So the dice cut out this section. And you have to put this one back. So you stamp here and then you can add it back to the label. Because it will make that frame if you see it closely. Okay? Uh, and this one is from... Mm, let me check. Who is this one from? Um, let's see. Who is this one from? Amy Frilici. Okay, Amy Felici. All right, there we go. Um, then we have this one from Janice Whitman. No, Whitman. Whitman or Whitman, I don't know. Um, look at this. Very, very simple. Here is the resin dots, as you can see. The bow in the Petunia Pop. Um, here is another of the labels from this suite, right? So it is that one. The oval and then the happy birthday from the sentiments here, which is the unbounded love. Look at this one with the uh, glimmer circle, the glimmer paper circle. Really cool. And the, and the peach pie. And like I said, peach pie was not supposed to be my favorite color, but I am loving how bright and cheerful it looks. So I'm definitely excited with this color. And you can see here the shimmer gems as well. So beautiful, beautiful car. Then we have this one from... Oh, who's this one from? This is from Diane Evans. Oh, she's from Canada. I know her. I think, yeah, I think she's from Canada. Really beautiful. I think so. I might be wrong, but I think she is. Um, this is from Ruth Bengal. Look at that one. Same thing. Look at all the glimmer paper. And then she used the uh, book punch. And then, uh, see, there's some leaves here. And then the designer she just paper. So... Really, really nice. I should open this one for a second. Because it looks like... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Fate is being sure of what we cannot see. Oh, I love the car. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, and you can see here what she did is that she... Um, you can cut it, but what she did is that she scored this section, folded, and glued it down. You can see it here. See? You see that? Pretty cool car. All right, let's go to the next one. Like I said, this is the one that has the most of the cards. The rest of the cards didn't get, or the rest of the suits did not have as many as this one. Uh, let me put this one back because I want to make sure I know who this came from. Um, then we have this one. This is from Cheryl Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, and this one is another kind of like a foam fold type of car. Look at this. Ooh, see. That's kind of nice. I love it. All right. This is from Cheryl, um, Cheryl Hamilton. Ooh, and she's in Hawaii. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, let's put this one back. <clears throat> All right. Then we have this one. Oh, I think this is the same lady that we saw here. Who is this? Amy Frischilli is here because this is the same. See the gathering expressions. So here's another card. Look at that. Beautiful. And oh, I mixed this one. This one is from the other. This is from Jill Cooper and this is from the other set. So I have that one wrong. This is from the other set that we just saw a minute ago. Then this one with the glimmer paper as well. The shamrock. Um, shy shamrock, I think it is. And look at this. It has the designer, the embossing folder. And this is from Lynn Stryfer. Mm -hmm. Then we have this one, right? Look at this. Really nice. There's some die cuts here. 
the stamp, the, the flowers. Now, these dies, uh, I didn't say that, but you can cut out all of these at once. It's just a long strip that you just run at once and you get up to, what, eight flowers of each of the different sizes. So this is what I was telling you. This is amazing because, um, or really easy, because as you're making cards, especially like if you're doing a swap, like you can cut eight at a time so you don't have to be cutting one by one, right? Sometimes in some of our older sets, we only had the one flower. And if you want to be using five of them, you have to be cutting five times for a card. But now here, as you can see, she pretty much run this one several times and see she has three of the small size and then three, two of the larger size. So definitely you get uh, a better a better way to do that. Oh, this one is also from the other one. Although the label and the sentiment are from this set, but the paper is from the Unbounded Beauty uh, collection that we saw a minute ago. And then similar for these, the sentiment and, um, sorry, the, no, this one, no, this one is right. This one, yeah, the label and the sentiment come from the Unbounded Lobe and see how beautiful this looks with the perennial postage, the postage perennial, perennial postage, I don't remember, the dies are, it looks really nice. And then we have this one from Karen Titus. Let's see. And I think it's similar. Oh, no, it's a different. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. So this is, um, I think I made a cart, right? I made a cart like this not too long ago. So look how beautiful this is. This one, fun for right here. All right, so that's, so that's that for this suite. Um, like I said, it does feature the ink colors, as you can see here. Um, let me now continue. Now, this one, I only got two cards. One is from Michelle Hornback. Look how bright it looks. Now, this is one of those uh, where you have a stencils and you start adding the colors um, with the different layers. So you can see here how beautiful this looks. I love it. And then on the dies, you can die cut. Um, I believe this is this one. Like you can die cut just the one of the roses by itself. Or you can cut out the whole thing, right? The whole thing. Um, oh, I think this one is actually that one. This one, you cut this one by itself. Or you can cut the whole thing like we did here, right? And then you can see this one. Uh, and oh, and look at this. This has the country woods designer sheet paper as well, as well as the petal pink uh, ribbon. So beautiful card. And then you have this one, which is just the stamping, but look how beautiful it looks. You know, like you just need to be um, doing the stencils and look how beautiful. There's, I mean, it's still a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, but you can see how it looks kind of clean, simpler, and it just looks amazing, right? So these are the two cards that I got with this set and then we have um oh by the way another thing to note is that we have these two you can have either the punch or the dice now i actually went for the dice because i can cut out three at a time and uh they are separate so it's not a long a long one you just get three different sides or not not three different dice you have like three not three different like three dies of the same shape or you can get the punch with that one and then for this one you can get either the one die or the one punch so uh, this is something that i've seen is is different and new with the stamping note which i thought it was pretty cool and then let's just go about this one. Oh, by the way i did end up buying this one just for oliver um because you know we have the dolphin and we have the steam race right so i was like oh now that we have some pictures i might be able to do something for Oliver with this. <laughs> so anyway, we have the hearts and hugs, and I did have some of the um, samples with this one. Um, we did use it last week as well in one of my cars. You can see the little uh, mouse. Really cute. It's this one. Uh, look how cute this looks. Now, this one is from Sylvia Werner, and look how beautiful her car is. I love how clean it looks. And just a little tiny uh, thing of the shimmer on the Petunia Pop. And of course, you know Petunia Pop is my favorite. So for me, this was just amazing. Um, look at this one. This one is from Michelle Litt Wheeler. 
beautiful car and you can see uh, now the circles though comes from a different suite uh, which I'll sh not suite but a bundle I'll show you here in a, sh in a minute but look how beautiful this looks you know Ooh, and then look at this one this is from Marcia Gray now this one has one of those wobbling things I see oh here see that and I love that she added the cheeks <laughs> so it looks really cute now I know you have to buy the wobble things somewhere else because we don't sell them. But see that? So this is kind of fun. <laughs> and this one is from Marcia Gay. Yeah, Marcia Gay. Okay. Really cute. We have this one's. Uh, look how beautiful with the little uh, hearts as well. And one of the, um, what is it, resin dots from the color. Then we have this one where they did a fun technique coloring the um, the embossing. This is a new embossing folder, by the way. Um, but look how beautiful this looks. Then this one. See, again, this is a new embossing folder. By the way, those embossing folders, it's uh, I don't have it with me. But it's like a big embossing folder. It's like a huge one. So there is not going to be like a larger section. Now, I don't know that I've said names. So this one is from Mary Ellen Stites. Oh, Mary Ellen. I like her a lot too. Did I say? Oh, yeah. This one I did say. And this one came from Tiffany Almeida. And then this one is from Linda Cullen. Look how beautiful. Now, I love the look of this. This one looks like jeans and then... The dots and a little bit of the fresh freesia. It looks really nice. I really like it. And then we have this one. And this one is from Janice Withman too. See? Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, the Petunia Pop. <laughs> so those are the cards with that. Let me go to the next. Let me see. Um, I didn't get any. Um, this one, I only got one card with this. Um, let me show you here. Ooh, where did I leave them? There was one section where I put the the one card. Um, I don't know what I did with them. Oh my goodness, they were. Oh, is this here? No, hold on. Oh, here they are. I'm like, I know because there were a few that I had just the one. Here it is. This is the Attention Shoppers, and it features the new in colors. And look at how beautiful this looks, right? Um, by the way, if you remember, we have the other. This is similar. I'll show you here. Um, but this one is just using that stamp set from the beginning section. The saying something, if you remember. The um, let me show you here. This one, the simply set. This is that one. This is one set. You can see how easy right um you just make a label put the sentiment and you're pretty much done <laughs> hi marcia so anyway so that's that um then we have i think this is the one that i was telling you i am in love with those circles now for this one i did have a few samples where are oh here this is another one where i got a few of them uh you can see here i'm put it here for a second right and um look how beautiful this looks the circles is just something i'm really liking it this is from leanne griff then you have this one look how beautiful this looks again the circles right there the flowers really beautiful and this one is from joey hartman look really nice oh and look they have um the other ribbon the room from um the holy cattle i love that one a lot this is from kim williams Mm hmm look the coloring of those flowers i love how it looks um then we have um uh, did i say this is yeah kim williams this is from sharon Boak. look how beautiful too and you can see the circles right the circles do have um like different edges right you can see here like a little lace and then one that has like the same as the radiating stitches dies kind of so I really like them. Look at this one too. So this is just the circle, see? The sentiment though, um, oh, the sentiment is also from here. Yeah, the thanks, yeah, you can see this. And look at that embossing folder. <clears throat> and then this one in the Petunia pop, which I love. Oh, there's no name for this one, so I don't know who made this one. Did I say who made this one? 
This one is from Cheryl. I don't know. It's Noe Stamper. So Cheryl. I don't know her last name. You can see this, right? And this one, like I said, there's no name. So, beautiful set as well. And I think I'm almost... Oh, this one, I have one sample with that one. And... Yeah, so this is that. Look at this. This is um, the loveliest treat. So this is kind of like the old lovely as a treat that we used to have, that one. Uh, but look how beautiful this looks, right? Really nice. Um, I do have another one. It's not from the same, but I wanted to show it, but just because they kind of go um, about the same way or feel. This one, oh, I don't have a name for that one. And this one is from Judy Anderson. But look how beautiful the layout. I love this layout. That was very happy to see this layout. And then, let's see, this one, I only got the one card, and it features the embossing folder. Now, this is one of those hybrid sets where you have the embossing and the die cut, you know? Like, you can die cut and emboss at the same time. But the car itself here is just the embossing. And look how beautiful it looks. This is the new basic... What is the number? Basic beige. Um, and so there is ribbon. And then, of course, the car stock and the ink. But um, this person, uh, again, who was Rachel Trout, um, used embossing folder. And you can see the beautiful uh, basic beige. Um, oh, my goodness. Ri ribbon. So really, really nice. And the sentiment is also from here. You absolutely made my day. Look at how beautiful the sentiment, uh, the fonts of the sentiment is. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Now, there are a few uh, sets that are carried over from all publications, and you're going to see them here. Um, there is, however, there's not, there's not a section, though, for, like, punches and... Um, what was the other thing? Punches and something else. I forgot right now what it was. But, um, <clears throat> or standalone dice, right? Like there were, we used to have some, there's not really a section for other uh, dice or punches that you can just reference. For that, you definitely need to be going to our website at stampingup.com and just type it if it is. Because some of the products, even though they retired, they went into the online exclusive. So once they're gone, they're gone. Some of them are carryover but they're not on a publication. So that side of things, it's a little bit more, um, I guess the tip is always go back to the online store and check if it is there because <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit harder just to see all the punches because we don't have that in this um, catalog. But you, there is a section though, like I said, like this section is just for you to see which sets are the ones that are available still. So I like that. And some of them, you can see there is also like the dies. And you can see from here the two different ones. These are no longer a bundle. So it's just the pricing now is by themselves. So you have to be adding each of the different codes to get both of the items. Um, and the next thing I wanted to show is this section where we do have all the, the ribbon that we have now available. Then there is a section for all the gems. So I love this section a lot because then I can see them all. I love that now it's like a big... Uh, image rather than the little tiny one so i like that we have them this way um and then the next one is the adhesive so same thing you can see all the adhesives that we have um as far as other parts that i love about the catalog is that now we have um so there's this section that kind of has a little bit of the um techniques of coloring so it gives you a little bit of hints and then you have this section that kind of tells a little bit of fun folds, which I thought it was kind of new and I really like that. Um, so you kind of see how it looks. And so you can see it here, um, the different cards, and then you see here how they made it, if you will, right? Like they give you the, um, like a little bit of how they're made, how they're made, sorry. Um, and then the last thing is the color theory section. Um, this is for the shakers, so you can see more about that. This is for braiding, as you can see here. So you can go from here and kind of get a little bit of more ideas of what to do for your coloring. The masking tape, too. No, the masking, uh, I don't know, not masking tape, the masking sheets. Oh, paper. Pa masking paper is right there, too. Um, and then 
everything for texture. So it kind of is now in a different setup, but it's kind of cool, I think. Um, and then here's the one. So here's the uh, color theory. And I love that it kind of gives you exactly a little bit of explanation. And so uh, for those of us, like for those of us that went to on stage, we actually got it here, but you have the same concept here. Okay. So you have it right here and you can just go from here and kind of make the same thing, right? Like uh, monochromatics, uh, complementary, like we are opposite on the wheel, like here and this, you know, like you just go kind of like draw your own. Analogous is where you have the color, um, like this petal pink calypso and Cajun crazy. So that would be something like that. And then the triadic, right, where it is um, like the three different colors, in this case, blue, yellow, red, as you can see them here, so that you can kind of go and look at color commission. So for me, I think that you could be playing with this, right, and just pick like your color combination. See, like you can be like, okay, I'm gonna be using this, or I'm gonna be using these three. And like these three, bubble, bubble bath, fresh frisia, and petunia pop, or fresh frisia, petunia pop, and berry burst, right? Like you can start playing with um, color combinations just from here. And I think that's a really great thing as you are making your cards because you can just pick which colors you want to play with and then go from there, select your cardstock, and start playing with it. Um, so that's pretty much it from the catalog, right? Uh, of course, now you'll see the pages where we have the new in colors, um, the different color families. Of course, we have cardstock and um, the ink pads, the blends, as well as the refills uh, for the ink pads. So you can see them all here. And then at the very end, now you have an index. But again, it's a little bit different than what we have had in the past. So um, I feel like this catalog is just amazing. Um, especially if you are into like making cards just to give you hints of how you're doing it. Definitely. I will be using this section the most <laughs> and I'm very excited to have new sketches to try. So anyway, so that's pretty much it for tonight. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Did any of you ask anything? Oh, thank you so much, Marcia, for sharing. And like I said, tomorrow I'll be coming back again to share a little bit more of, um, like to do the three cards. I believe I'm gonna be doing for this class, the one with the thoughtful designs. Um, so that's the one that I will be using. So anyway, let me see. I think there's no question, so I think we're good. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me also know what is the favorite part from the catalog. Like to me, as you know, it's going to be the sketches and the color combinations. So anyway, so thank you so much for being here. Uh, come back tomorrow for the card class. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to go over the new catalog because I know it's a little bit different, but it's more exciting, to be honest. And then the other thing, if you have any questions about the, uh, what am I saying here, about the starter kit, Again, you only pick $125 worth of merchandise from anything here, right? So you just go and pick $125, pay $99 plus uh, tax. There's no shipping, so you end up saving 11% right there. And then you get uh, for free the in all the in-color pads, right? So you're going to be getting all the in-color pads. You're going to be getting the markers, the designer series paper, and then a, a car stock um, with 20 sheets featuring each of the different colors, right? So you have uh, four sheets of each of the different five colors, um, which is an $82 of value on top of the $125 that you pick from the catalog. And it could be uh, any publication, although right now it's only this one, but it could be also from the online exclusives or kits or anything that you see. So you can buy that on the starter kit um, and get the rest, um, like I said, get the other products for free from Stampin' Up. Um, and then once you're a demonstrator, of course, you can get the rest of your wish list at a 20% discount. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. <laughs> Gail just said uh, two nights in a row. Yeah, I'm going to be doing two nights in a row because there was no card class tonight. But I did want to spend some time doing the catalog. And I knew I wouldn't be able to do a full, you know, like three hour type of class, <laughs> you know, between the catalog and the class. But anyway, so I'll see you then tomorrow. And thank you so much for you for you being here. All right. So thank you. 
and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.